Collins looking to box his way in behind that jab. But Nunes giving no ground at all. Nunes, 25 years of age, by the way. That's five years older than uh, Collins. Tony's the brother of uh, George Collins, who is a, a leading light among the welterweights in Great Britain until uh, a year or so back when he was rather badly outclassed in a title challenge against Kirkland Lang. Didn't quite fulfil all the high hopes they had of him, but uh, they have equally high hopes of brother Tony here. His one defeat was a third-round knockout by the American Russell Mitchell, and he's been on the floor in one other contest, but he's quite a puncher himself, Collins. He's credited with 19 knockdowns in these 24 fights. End of the second round, and very, very little in it so far. All the indications are that this will be a toughish defence for Tony Collins here. wonder how much that long hair there going into the eyes really helps him. Maybe could do with it a bit shorter for the purposes of professional boxing. We look at some of the action again there. Trading punches and Collins, well, maybe getting the better of that little rally. <laughs> Collins, black shorts, Nunes in the blue. There's talk for Tony Collins, if he can win this one, of a big money showdown against Gary Stretch, which would be a big fight in Britain. But he's got to win this first. Good left hook there from Nunes. Pretty impressed with this Argentinian. Light on his feet, busy. Refusing to let Collins dominate in his own backyard, as it were. Collins over an inch taller at uh, five feet ten. know that he is not at home in Salta, northwest Argentina at the moment. All the support, naturally enough, for Collins. Good body shots there from Tony Collins. contest this already the pace pretty high good shirts from Collins that time Nunes coming back there to the body and then switching the attack to the head looks fired up for this does Nunes so too of Collins because in boxing remember the Snakes can be very long and the ladder's rather short. Defeat can sometimes put you back a couple of years. And Collins at his age doesn't need any. Relentless aggression here at the end of the round from Nunes. Real tough, hard fight. Join us again as the action continues in just a moment on Eurosport. This is the WBC International Light Middleweight Championship. Tony Collins defending the title.
in the black shorts up against Ricardo Nunes of Argentina. Very close fight so far, and it looks like being a hard defence for Collins. That's good shots to the head there from Nunes, but back comes Collins again with his own body shots. The two of them quite prepared to stand and trade there. Collins just maybe felt the weight of that uh, left hook to the body there. Fell back against the ropes a little bit. Collins, who won the first 15 contests of his career, before that defeat against Russell Mitchell. Came back after that, though, with six wins in 1989, and then in May 1990, took this vacant title, outpointing Hugo Marinagelli, also an Argentinian. That was a majority verdict, though Collins well deserved it. A little bit wild there, Collins. Throwing a lot of leather, but not much of it finding the target. And better punch picking from Nunes there. Collins on the ropes here at the moment. And look at Nunes throwing in those punches. Not all of them, has to be said, with a great deal of authority. But one or two were real rib crunches into the body. Give Collins credit. He's covering up well there with the gloves high held, taking a lot of the shots on his gloves and using the old shoulder there to fight his way off the ropes. Really is a no-holds-barred, gruelling 12-rounder, this. If, of course, it goes the full 12 rounds. And both of them looking to score with those uppercuts off the ropes in Collins's case. Quite happy to lie there and slug it out with Nunez. No doubt that Nunez's tactics are to try and weaken the taller Collins with attacks into the rib cage area. Well, it really is tough stuff, this one. And the crowd, some of them rising at ringside with applause, and you can see there a little bit of a swelling coming up underneath the left eye of Collins. That looks a little bit angry. The corner will have to work on that with the ice pack, try and keep it down. And it's no wonder, really, after that kind of action. There's a little bit of a nick there as well, by the look of it, under the left eye of Collins. Well, they told us Nunes was rugged and hard and didn't give an inch, and that's just the way it's proving. Not a fashionable fighter, even back home in his native Argentina, Nunes. Just one of those honest-to-goodness pros probably struggles to make a very big living out of the game. But at this level, he's a very hard nut indeed. Looks very, very durable. Some of those punches from Nunes seeming to land with the inside of the glove, if I'm honest with you. Not thrown with the greatest authority. The judges have to take into account the quality of the punching, not just the number of blows thrown.
Good body shot there, right into the ribs from Collins. Court Nunes on the way in. Going for that wild humdinger of a right, and that, luckily for Nunes, whistled past the uh, end of his chin. Otherwise, it might have been good night. feeling that that uh, kind of rock star hairstyle of Collins can't help his vision too much in these exchanges it's sort of draping down over the eyes still I guess that's the way he likes to wear it that's a good left hook from him and for once Nunes did take a couple of steps backwards when that one landed You see fights of this pace, this relentlessness. You realise just why professional boxers have to be in tip-top physical condition. Good rally at the end of the round there from Collins. But this continues to be a very even Stephen court sort of fight. Let's have a look back at some of the action again from this fifth round. Collins in the black trunks there, let me remind you, on the ropes firing away with those left hooks and one of them right at the end of the round there really whipped in and uh, caught Nunes here on the side of the jaw this cornerman working away sometimes these Argentinians seem to have uh, skin made of leather and look at him he's totally unmarked uh, Collins with that swell underneath the left eye only Fossey and Jimmy Tibbs in the corner I'm going to keep a close watch on that A lot of people say that these uh, international titles for boxers ranked between 11 and 30 in the world don't mean too much. And many people think, well, with 68 world titles with the four different governing bodies, anyway, at senior level, there are quite enough championships anyway. But uh, I suppose it's a decent little stepping stone for fighters like Collins and uh, Nunes here on the way up. a very good right to the body from Nunes strength sapping punch found his way underneath the elbows protecting the ribs of Collins Nunes was a pretty good amateur as well he had 96 wins and only three defeats and Collins didn't do too bad in his unpaid days either with three national schools titles, two boys club championships, two junior ABA titles. Collins looking the more marked around the face at this stage, no doubt about that. task a bit and starting to get through Nunes on the ropes and Collins looking to let go with his big punches there good work from Tony Collins but this is one tough customer this Ricardo Nunes say on the bill posters come here to win at Nunes and that's good punches again from Collins and that right uppercut inside that's good work from the 20 year old and a couple of times in this round he's shown signs that he's just starting maybe to get through 
Nunes there defiantly waving him in. But often when fighters do that, it does mean that they've just been shaken up a little bit. Collins is round, I think, that. Fascinating fight developing here. And a good one, and that was an excellent round for Tony Collins from Yateley. Ricardo Nunes here in quite a scrap for the WBC International Light Middleweight title. Not very much in it after six rounds. This is the seventh. Just signs in that last round, though, that Collins is starting to get home with some of his heavier artillery against this rugged Argentinian who's done well with body shots. Collins with this problem with the left eye, which is swelling up now rather more angrily as the fight goes on. The cornermen have been working at it with the ice bag and the iron, but uh, they call it a mouse in the trade when that swelling comes up underneath an eye, and the eye is in danger, of course, of closing. And once the vision starts to get impaired, you don't see the punches coming. That's the big danger for Collins. Oh, that looked a bit low from Nunes. Referee takes no action. Maybe I was seeing things, but uh, that did seem to be below the belt from uh, Nunes, the challenger. the body from Nunez. Colin seems to be quite happy to lay back on the ropes from time to time, take a breather and fight behind his high held guard in that position. But every time he gets there, significantly Nunez does get home with punches into the ribcage area. Strength sapping punches they can be too. Shouts of work, Tony, work from the corner. He tries to do that, only one of those three punches landed. Just a bit untidy, both of them, and feeling the pace possibly in this round. Hardly surprising, really. Pace just dropping off, as it had to, really, at some stage. That was a pretty quiet round, fairly difficult to score as well. And there's that swelling, good close-up view of it underneath the left eye. And it's closing that eye, isn't it? That is a worry. And there's the iron I was talking about. They kind of iron out the swelling, or they hope to. I'm not sure how painful that is for the fighter, but uh, it's absolutely necessary. That is nasty. And if it closed completely, I think on safety grounds, this referee would be, well, duty-bound to stop the contest. You can't have one-eyed fighters in there. The game's quite dangerous enough without that. Round eight coming up. I've got it mighty tight on my scorecard at the moment. I don't know how you're seeing it at home. Just looking through, I think I've got Collins ahead by one point at this stage. It's a good left hook from Nunes. And he started this round busily, no doubt the corner have said to him, look, you were a little bit, uh, a little bit slow in that last round, not doing very much. It's true of both of them, really. They both almost seem to declare a truce, take a breather.
doesn't seem to be quite so much in the punches of either of them at this stage after that uh, fiery opening five or six rounds get off the ropes and dance the corners saying to Tony Collins Collins's legs do just look a little stiffer there's not so much life about them now and maybe this continuing body attack that Nunez has embarked upon throughout the fight is paying and he's caught there though he's caught by a left hook and down he goes I'm not hurt he says but there will be an eight count that's mandatory even though he sprang up almost immediately from it well that will encourage Collins and he gets in with another big right there and Nunes is in some trouble in this round he wanted to hold on there for a moment and he can't hold on he was caught by another right and he's having to dig pretty deep now the Argentinian on the floor in the eighth round so an interesting little twist in the plot Collins looking as if he does have the superior punch power and that impression confirmed by the knockdown must be said though that after that little crisis Nunes again appears to have got himself together cleared his head and is coming back quite well towards the end of the round Oh, it's another fair old right as well at the end of the round by Collins. That was a good round for the 20-year-old. It was a slow start, but Collins exploded into life. And the left hook had Nunes on the floor. Now, that could be pretty decisive. Eighth round. Again, they work on that swelling. There's Ernie Fossey nearest the camera. Jimmy Tibbs on the far side. Both very experienced men good corner men to have let's have a look at it again there was that little left then a right and it was really the right first of all that dazed Nunes and the left hook that made sure he went down first that little left there then that right and then the left hook to complete the knockdown the mandatory eight count given and that eyes nearly closed now look at that so that is undoubtedly a factor in this equation. Collins can hardly see, surely, out of that eye. And there must be some urgency, I would think, in that corner for him to try and get this job over with as quickly as possible. Though it'll be a hard job against as durable a man as this Argentinian Nunes. This is the ninth round. the one knockdown so far for 20 year old Tony Collins from Yately in Surrey in England problem for Collins now is that any shot thrown with the right coming wide he may not see because of that virtually closed left eye of his cautionary word for Nunes from referee Armand Creef. Nunes looking busier in this round. Not too much leather being thrown by Collins, who, of course, is fighting with this enormous handicap now. No doubt that Nunes is completely over the little crisis he had in the last round with the knockdown. tight close fight At this stage going into this round I did have Collins ahead but not by an awful lot on, 
These last four rounds are going to be decisive, I think, in determining the outcome. Both really now needing all their courage and conditioning. A sort of hard fight after which fighters need a pretty good long rest. Asking him for a little burst. <laughs> Nunes is round. He was the sharper fighter there. Join us again after Nunes the in the corner. And there's Collins with this big handicap of the closed left eye. Three rounds to go. On my scorecard, I had Collins one point ahead going into these last three rounds. He has the one knockdown in his favour so far in round eight. An albeit brief one. Collins out of range with that right this time. It's hard for him, I would think, to judge the distance that Nunes is away from him at the moment with vision in only one eye. And of course the vision in a way is with the wrong eye because he, if you look, he leads with his left, therefore he's looking at Nunes, or trying to anyway, through that virtually closed left eye. You see him out of range again with the jab. And that could be as a direct result of his impaired vision. And maybe if this was a non-title fight, maybe they would have stopped it by now. I don't know, obviously, because I can't speak to Collins in the middle of the action, how much he can see. But the corner must be worried. He's caught there with left hooks as well. And there's no doubt that Collins's pace has dropped off quite significantly in the last couple of rounds. And it's too tight a fight for him to be able to afford to do that, really. And it's a bit of a nick underneath the right eye. He's starting to look a bit of a mess, Collins, now. Fans trying to lift him from ringside, but some worried faces in that corner there. Frank Warren, Ernie Fussy, I saw. And, uh, they looked a bit grim. And I think if I was in that corner, that's exactly the way I'd be feeling. Collins somehow has to dredge deep down into his reserves of strength and courage and somehow step up the pace a little bit because Nunes is starting to have things rather his own way. Again, Collins missing with his right uppercut and laying on the ropes and not doing an awful lot. And being heavily outscored in this round so far, no doubt about it. It looked again as if it strayed on the lowish side from Nunes, no word from the referee. One of the harsh realities of boxing life. Sounds a bit cruel, but Nunes will be looking to work on that eye even more to maximize his advantage. End of the round, and emphatically, it was the round of Nunes, and the referee now is having a word with Collins and say, look, are you all right? And I think he wants a word with the corner too. I think there must be just one or two questions asked about whether Collins should be pulled out at this stage because he really can't see out of one eye. Of course, they're desperate for him not to be beaten here, but the way things are going, unless he can step it up in the last couple of rounds, I think he could be beaten anyway. He was able to do very, very little. He was missing with his shots because of the impaired vision and Nunes just did more work, landed with more punches in the round. Inspector 
looking on with quite a worried look on his face as well. And you can see there that Nunes, despite being bathed in sweat, is relatively unmarked. Only two rounds to go now in this WBC International Light Middleweight Championship. And uh, they're going to call the doctor in to have a look now at this eye of Collins. And he's doing a little test with him. How many fingers am I putting up? And he's giving some advice to the referee. Is this going to be the end of it here? A one-eyed fighter. And Collins is being allowed to continue. I must confess to being mildly surprised by that, even in a championship fight. Now, can he raise his game? I think he's got to prove to the referee here that he's still in this with some kind of realistic chance of landing punches and he's not too badly handicapped otherwise they may well pull him out at the end of this round even I think if this round was like the last one they may have to call a halt to it but uh, it does seem a bit more energy about Collins now he's really going for it look at this he's looking to try and take Nunes out is this one last desperate throw of the dice from Tony Collins well, he certainly produced an explosive little half minute there and you wondered if he still had that left in him missed with a few but landed with a few as well and he's making Nunes think again his fans trying to lift him and he needs all the lifting he can get after the 10th round I had it dead level this fight a better round for Collins he's doing better in this round but again you see him missing by quite a long way with some of the punches it's really guesswork measuring the distance of them this is a very brave display from him no question marks at all about this fellow's heart dedication determination because he's having to dredge very deep indeed here and look he's got Nunes covering up Nunes is not hurt but he's been forced to go backwards in this round this is a fine effort from Collins he's stepped up his work rate and fighting almost half on instinct has taken the fight back to Nunes in this round and is starting to unload. A lot of those are landing on the gloves, quite honestly, but a few are getting through. And Nunes must be surprised, really, that Collins is able to come back like that. He threw one after the bell, luckily it missed. But I think you've got to say there, Collins is round, and I take my hat off to him. That was superb from the youngster who really has been in the wars in this fight need a good long recovery win lose or draw but if he fights on for another 10 years as he well might do I don't think he'll be in too many as tough as this one you'll remember this night all right but what a courageous comeback it was in this round from Collins in the black shorts it's a good work there in that little interlude from Nunes but I gave that round to Collins So coming up for the final round of what's been an intriguing little fight. Two tough game fighters looking for this WBC International light middleweight title. Collins in the black shorts trying to hold on to it. Nunes trying to win it. Be fascinating to know how the two judges and the referee are scoring it at this stage because it's not my opinion, of course, that counts, it's theirs. Little cautionary word for Collins. But he now can at least see the finishing post in sight. And it won't come a moment too soon for him with that eye. The two of them will want to throw everything into this last round, knowing that the result could well depend on it. 
jabs from Nunes. Collins so courageous. The rugged Argentinian is still in there pitching. His body shots again, then a hurtful left uppercut. Collins valiantly covering up. Nunes starting to just get on top a little. Scoring of this final round could be absolutely decisive. I had Collins a point ahead going into it. Could be that the judges might even see this as a draw. That is possible, of course. If one uh, gives it to Collins, one gives it to Nunes, the other one gives it a draw. We have a draw. More effective work coming from Nunes in this round, and he really is now. Collins very, very tired, near exhausted there, dropped his gloves and almost waved Nunes into him. That eye is in a terrible state. There's no doubt at all that in a non-championship fight, they'd have had to stop it. And he's been fighting now for quite a few rounds with the eye closed. Collins with the one knockdown in his favour in round eight. But it's been largely a survival battle for him since then, though he did have that good 11th. Nunes working harder, maybe doing a bit more in this last round. There goes the bell to end it. And how are they going to see this one? The Argentinians rush from the corner to hug their man, believing they've won it, because he, of course he's the away fighter. It shouldn't be have a bearing, sometimes it does. Very, very close, and I've scored that a draw. I've got it absolutely level after 12 rounds. And we'll get the decision in just a moment, as the scorecards are collated. Now, let's have a look again at this 12th round. Very, very tired at this stage, Collins. He's laying on the ropes, his mouth sagging open a little. I think Nunes hasn't got a lot left himself either. But he's finishing busier. Right to the body there, Collins forced to miss. And then two little punches into the head. And now here comes the Ladies decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a majority decision. Judge Adrian Morgan scores 115, 113. Judge Mayo scores 113, 116. It all depends on the referee. Referee Crave scores 115, 114. The undefeated WBC international right middleweight champion, Tony, Tony Collins. Collins has got it. Two to one, majority decision. Great little fight, very close. One of the judges scoring it to Nunes by three points. But Collins fighting with one eye in the closing rounds, bravely holding on to his WBC international light middleweight championship. From London Arena, good night.
I'm getting your body.
Filmade. Det var det. 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 Det Ja, kom 
Посмотри, не бойся. В дырку, а? На. Да и... А на чем мне? Я хочу дигитальное это сделать. Синки. Gracias. 